Doris Fetok, and I'm honored to have the chance to speak to you today. Now, since I was as little as I can remember, I've been reading poetry, and one of my favorite poets is Langston Hughes. I discovered his 1951 poem, Harlem, when I was reading for my AP Lit class, and as soon as I saw the poignant question he asked, what happens to a dream deferred, my imagination was sparked. When I tie that question back to my own life, I realize that mine has been anything but a story of dreams deferred. I consider myself intensely lucky that when I walked up to my mom and I said, I want to publish a book, she didn't say, wait until you're older, as so many other kids might have heard from their parents or their teachers or their friends. And because of that single dream that I was able to pursue instead of defer, I was able to accomplish many of my other goals and reach stages that I could have never imagined, TED and TEDx events around the world. So, you might wonder if my story really has any applicability to the average teenager, someone maybe much like you, someone who goes to school every day, sees problems that seem too difficult to address. Well, I'm here to tell you that it really starts with a single person not deferring that dream. It means addressing a problem when you see it. And I think that one of the most easily applicable ways we can see this is in student voice. And I mean authentically having a voice in your community and your school. It's interesting, you might think that somebody with as much name recognition or ability to speak on international conference stages around the world as I'm lucky enough to have wouldn't be scared to say to a teacher, hey, I don't like how something in this class is run, or I want to change something about my educational learning experience. But just like you, I find it very challenging and kind of scary to do something like that. So I wanted to start a dialogue about education reform that brought in student voices. I created the student union group on Facebook and tried to encourage other peers to join in this discussion about how can we make our education system better and how can we speak up so that we, the most important stakeholders in education, I think, are truly heard. So I would highly encourage you to think, what can I do in my school and for schools around the nation to connect with other students, to connect with teachers and administrators so that we can solve problems. Now, when I think about how this all ties back to the dreams deferred, I think it's intensely relevant because a lot of times when we walk into school, we sit down in our classrooms and we have big ideas. We have bright ideas. We have ideas that can change the world. And yet, as we're solving our equations and writing our papers, we often are doing things that don't have much impact outside the walls of the classroom. That's something that we can work together to change. At events like the TEDx that you're attending right now, you can get with other people, share ideas, create a forum unlike maybe anything you've ever experienced to begin solving the problems that we see. So, if Langston Hughes wondered what happens to a dream deferred, I hope that maybe we can be a generation that provides an answer, not through our own dreams deferred, but perhaps through dreams accomplished. Thank you.